right guys welcome back to the channel um in this video i'm going to show you a start to finish on my jackson soloist i'm finally going to take and ebonize this fretboard so i got it pretty much prepped ready to go for sanding i tape all this off so i don't get any kind of dust any kind of debris going on in there and of course i'm watching ola as you can see always watching ola but no we're ready to go with this so this is the uh, first step of this and uh, show you as i go and let's get started a couple things i want to note before i go too much further on this is uh the information where i got to do this now there's many other ways that you can do this but just uh this source of information that i used to obtain this look that i got on my bastard v which i'm going to get the same look on this guitar is uh so it's an article on instructables.com. All I did was Google ebonizing rosewood fretboard and all the information was right there. I'll share the link with you guys in the description. But before I go too much further, I do have three frets down, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. So what I'm doing is uh, I got 220 grit sandpaper here. Now if you, if like that sounds like too rough of a uh, sandpaper for you, you could go up to about 400, maybe 600 grit. But what you want to do if you got like 220 grit like I have here is just very, very, very lightly sand with the grain. And obviously when you get closer to these uh, frets, you might have to go across just a little bit. And if you just want to take those lines out, all you got to do is just go back over with the grain and it'll go right away. But where I'm having a little bit of a problem, I knew this was going to be a little bit more work involved on this guitar, is when you come up to these uh, shark fin inlays like this, just got to be really really careful just take your time and try to um, you know get this this shine off here this particular color and get it to that look right there once that goes away and you have a result they look like this you're ready to move on to the next fret so just figured I'd make note of that before I move any further and I'm trying to keep this camera away from the guitar because this thing's uh, a little bit expensive and I don't want to get a lot of dust in it. So a quick progress report on where I'm at so far. I'm about 78 and 5 16 percent done so far. Some kind of bullshit number, but uh, let me show you what I got going on so far. So currently right here and it's been taking me about I spent a little over an hour doing this like I say I take my time just take your time there's not a hurry this isn't a race just make sure you do a really good job and the results will come out spectacular I promise you so I'm gonna keep going and then um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do from here that was the whole thing was she passed away the day before she was quick little before. pointer as i'm uh, doing this that just showing you guys well, then, um sanding yeah, no, when you got to run into the frets that have uh, the shark fin inlays if you're dealing with shark fin and, inlays um, you want to do and this seems to help a lot so you won't London, you know uh, scratch up your inlays and you won't this, scratch these frets uh, that are uh, yeah, you know yeah. tight together once you start you getting down the neck is use your sandpaper that has a little more dullness on it that dulled out a little bit because i think and it'll just it'll clean up a lot nicer for you in those particular spots Spots. All right, just about finished with the uh, sanding process. Uh, before I jump to the next thing, which is uh, hitting this with mineral spirits, just to kind of suck everything off the fretboard. What I like to do, I go a little bit beyond that, and I will take a vacuum and I'll just kind of suck everything up before I apply the mineral spirits. But before I get to that step, I just kind of want to go over and make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm very meticulous with this stuff because uh you know i really really took my time with the bastard v and it just came out immaculate so i want the same for this one but we're gonna just gonna kind of go over here and take a look if i see any shiny spots spots that i might have missed or overlooked just hit them real quick and before moving on to the next step and if, obviously if I have any little surface scratches that need yeah, like right here um, this just needs to be hit real lightly real quick yeah as you can see very very little pressure don't get aggressive on it just be real light with it real patient and it comes out looking really really good and I'll show you guys when we get to that part um, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is not the only way to do this. There's many, many other ways that you can, you know, tackle on dyeing your fretboard or making it look different. But this is uh, the way I did it. I was very happy with the results. Didn't get any um, any of the ebony coming up on my fingers or anything like that. 
even uh, you know, I think I did it, it was probably two and a half months ago. Absolutely nothing comes off of uh, the fretboard. So it's definitely sealed, it's permanent, and it looks great. Um, but it looks like we're good to go, so, oh, right here. All right, so I'm gonna vacuum this up and then we'll apply mineral spirits and I'll show you the next step. And of course, we gotta document the process. Get some guitar selfies. That light's kind of fucking me right now, though. Try another angular angle. There we go. That's pretty damn good right there. It's hot. It's hot. It was uh, not responsible, but uh, I I made a contact for Michael Rocky. Super. Oh, still you, can, you still got those? Uh, uh, small screws are the oldest. Set oh, I got them all, dude. The yep, I got them on my uh, computer <laughs> desk. I'll grab them for that, you. Yeah, I mean, software for having them work and. Uh, All right, let them shits dry and move on to the next step. Okay, it's just about ready for the first coat of stain. Now what I did was I ended up taking my fan and running that on there for about 20 minutes and it looks just about dry, but I want to be absolutely sure that there's no wet spots anywhere to be found on this fretboard before I go and apply that uh, first coat of stain. So I'm going to run the fan another 10 minutes and then it should be good to go. I'm going to eat and then this thing should be Totally ready for that first coat. So, all right, it is all dry. We are ready to go for the first coat of stain. A couple things we're gonna need before we get started. A pair of rubbers, always wear protection. One of these dudes right here, just a foam brush. Those things are dirt cheap. They're like a quarter a piece. And get yourself some skein, some stain. Barathane, got some barathane. And then we are gonna get started. Now before you go and do this too, you wanna make sure Got this tape nice and sealed back up. It's good and tight. I mean, it's still gonna it's still gonna bleed through a little bit. There's no stopping that. It's unavoidable. But don't worry about that. I'll show you how to take care of that after we're all done. But we're gonna apply the first coat. Open this bad boy up. You guys can tell I was once a painter because I got one of these. Courtesy of Sherwin Williams. You can literally do this whole fretboard with one dunk. Like that's how much this spreads out. A little bit goes a very, very long way. So just a little dunk here on the tip. Just the tip. And we just start applying. Now I wanna go for a really, really dark look on this. I want it to be almost black. So I'm probably gonna do this a few times. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, apply the first coat. Let it set for a good, eh. 15 to 20 minutes, wipe off the surface excess, coat it again, give it like another 20 minutes, maybe half hour, dab off the excess again. I just take an old t-shirt, um, that's more than efficient, and then uh, take a look at it again and see if it's going to need a third coat, which I believe it will. Yeah, still, still getting away with the one dunk on, uh, up to this point on this uh, staining. And as you'll notice as I'm doing this, it does not stick to those inlays whatsoever. That's one thing I was uh, going to mention before I got started. Because I had a feeling that it was coming. Oh, but Kevin, isn't that going to stick to your inlays? Absolutely not. As you can see, it does not stick to that plastic at all. It goes right over the top of it. And I've gotten, uh, what is that, about 68 and 3 quarters of the way done. And I'm still... Still going strong with that single dab. That one tiny little can of stain will last a lifetime. Just make sure you just get it in there real good. Get it in there super deep. <clears throat> I think this soloist is going to pop so nice once that fretboard starts turning black. Coupled with that lime green color, that slime green color. Whew. Then I got a couple other projects that I might get to. Maybe not tonight, but... I'm going to start getting that bastard V going. Got a set of 10 to 52s. I'm going to try and set it up in standard D. Block the uh, Floyd Rose. And see if I can get it going. I'll just kind of take a look. See if there's any spots that I missed. 
just make sure you get all that stain in there leave no stone unturned And as I mentioned, it takes a little bit of patience, but I'll tell you what, it's definitely worth it. The way that it makes this look is phenomenal. And I'll show you guys uh, after this, that bastard V, I'll show you what the end result looks like. So as you just saw, one dunk got all of that. I'll set that off to the side for a minute. Do not spill that, Kev. All right, follow me. Follow me. So this is the bastard up here. Whip that around. Now let me bring it in the bring it in the light. I'll show you. I think I did um I think I did two coats on this and it came out like this. If this damn thing would focus, actually I can't really tell. It's got some zebra effect going on. Something in the camera settings. I don't know. But yeah, this uh, this looks pretty killer in, in person, trust me. So, now we're going to let that dry, like I said, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Wipe the excess off, and then I'll apply a second coat. Give that one 20 minutes to a half hour at the most, and then wipe that excess off again. Decide if I need a third coat or not. But as of right now, see him? I got a little bit of a fun challenge to do on Instagram. So I got a going to post me a sick riff and I will share that in this video I'll show you guys so uh, stay tuned I'll be right back I cannot get this cocksucker riff oh, I f f up again all right this is gonna be the one right here Feel my fingers, dude. <laughs> 